Hey guys, Weston Sarasota. Uh, had to get out of the house, take a little walk. It's day three of the uh, coronavirus having broken out in my home, not my hometown, but the town I live in currently of Sarasota. And <laughs> I just made a video about how Mike Pence had visited and one of my friends was kind enough to remind me that that's kind of how you get suicided. So I'm just taking a little walk, clear my mind. But as I'm out here, I figured I'd uh, talk about the other thing that's kind of going on is what I'm really seeing right now is both sides of the argument. I'm seeing people who are super concerned, really worried about the coronavirus coming into town. I kind of fall more into that category personally, but I always like to hear the arguments from the other side because, you know, people are people and you want to know what what's going on in their heads. So the other side of the argument I'm hearing is, you know, seeing a lot of the memes of, oh, I lived through this, bird flu, swine flu, Y2K, you know, all those kinds of things. I've lived through this. This is just the next in line of, you know, nothing to worry about that the media is hyping up. It's, you know, it's all about... Uh, politics and elections and making this person look bad or you know whatever power and control right and then on the other side you're hearing people who are concerned about it for I think a lot of the same reasons that I am one worst case scenario it is something nasty and I have some inside sources that would definitely make me more concerned than less but that's worst case scenario that this is, you know, the zombie apocalypse or not even that. Even if it's just something that's bad, you know, what if it is the next kind of flu? Yes, that's another stat that's thrown out there. Oh, why should we be worried about this? Because, you know, the flu already kills, I forget the number, but it's like 19,000 people already this year. Well, <laughs> do you want another flu or something else out there that's going to kill another you know, an extra 20,000 people, especially if this is, it's just as contagious, it has a higher death rate, and, you know, people like me, I'm not so much worried about myself, I'm worried about my loved ones, you know, I have a father who's almost 70 years old, I have, you know, friends and family who are going through cancer and have compromised immune systems, people with Lyme disease, compromised immune systems, you know, the hospitals, they're already being over tax there they don't know how to handle this because it's new that's the thing the people on the other side are forgetting this is new it's already at over 90,000 people worldwide and it's only been out there for two months and, you know this started with one person and it's over 90,000 people and there's estimates that if the numbers in China were actually being reported properly it'd be hundreds of thousands of people hundreds of thousands of people already sick and I don't know I just I've seen the videos coming out of China I don't think they would react this way you know if it if it wasn't something serious something we should be concerned about they've never behaved like this Italy's never closed its border Japan's never suspended school for a month there's a lot of things that are going on around the world that we need to pay attention to here because that's the appropriate response. See what they're doing, take those precautions, get ahead of the game, and that's why America always stands strong. We do have the strongest medical facilities in the world, but the truth is they can easily become overrun, especially with something we don't know how to handle it yet. I've seen videos, they're in China, they're spraying the entire city's town with a fog of who knows what, who knows what kind of damage that'll do to them afterward. I don't know. Tell me where you stand. Are you, uh, is it nothing to you? Or are you a little more concerned about this? Where do you, where do you fall? I'm very curious to hear. And uh, I hope you stay safe. I hope it is nothing. I hope I'm overreacting and I just get to have, you know, a little extra food for the next few months and I don't have to dip into it as a supply. But, Based on, again, some of the things I know about how it's going on already, I think panic, I think panic's going to be the biggest, uh, the biggest worry overall, if not, uh, <laughs> you know, a deadly virus outbreak that is killing upwards of 3% of the population. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, your feelings. I'll catch you later. Wes in Sarasota.